Hey friends, my name is Osama. In this video, I'll be summarizing an article written by the American Office of Nuclear Energy. It's called The Seven Things The Simpsons Got Wrong About Nuclear. I highly recommend you check out this article, which is in the description below. Nuclear energy is a topic that lives in the shadow of conspiracy, misconception, and fear. In this video, I'll break down some of the common misconceptions and stereotypes that were brought up in the show called Simpsons. Now let's start off with the origins of The Simpsons. The Simpsons is a show that's based in a town called Springfield. Now The Simpsons has its main character called Homer Simpson. So he's the show's main character and he works at the Springfield nuclear power plant. Now the power plant has two pressurized water reactors called the Fissionator 1952 slow fission reactor and funding for this nuclear power plant came from a children's fundraiser that was stolen by Mr. Burns in the, the year 1968. Now let's start off with number one, control room operators do not work by themselves. Now Homer is seen in many episodes working by himself in the control room. So he's either sleeping or he's eating donuts at his control council. But according to the NRC, which is the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in the United States, a supervisor alongside a secondary supervisor must be present during all times of reactor operations. Homer Simpson by working by himself in the control room is completely wrong, okay? Now, number two, nuclear power plants are well-maintained. Now, in the show, there are many safety violations showed throughout The Simpsons, like rat infestations, cracked cooling towers held together by gum, or spills of radioactive waste, decontamination, showers spouting fire, and the list goes on and on. But the reality is that nuclear power plants are extremely safe to work at. I can recall from my personal experience, extremely safe. You can almost literally eat off the floor of a nuclear in a, in a station, that's how clean it is. Would not recommend that, but <laughs> very safe, very well maintained. Now, number three, commercial nuclear spent fuel is not liquid. Okay, so the Simpsons show regularly shows radioactive waste as this green liquid seeping out of these drum-like containers. That's actually not how spent fuel looks like. Now, spent fuel is actually a solid. It's a ceramic made up of uranium, and these pellets are housed in large metal sheets uh, like fuel rods or fuel bundles, depending on the design. Now, these bundles and rods are then placed in a spent fuel bay in a large swimming pool for a few years and then transferred over to dry casks, which are giant. They're not stored in these in these barrels of and have green goop coming out thumbs. Completely a big misconception. Now, number three is nuclear waste is stored safely. Now, in The Simpsons, you can find radioactive waste throughout the town of Springfield. So you see it dumped into the sea. You're seeing it stuffed in trees or put on playgrounds. But in reality, nuclear waste is packaged, it's tracked, it's, it's safely stored at nuclear facilities. Now, whether that be spent fuel, low level waste, or high level waste, you won't be finding nuclear waste anywhere else in the world outside of these facilities. The fifth and last point is nuclear plants do not cause mutations. Now, Blinky the three-eyed fish, <laughs> I'm sure you remember, scary mutant spiders or, or Homer getting sterilized at work. Now, nuclear plants, they don't release pollution out into the atmosphere. They actually produce zero greenhouse gas emissions, all right, during the process of producing the clean energy. Now, fun fact, over one year, your granite countertop will give off more radiation than living next to a nuclear power plant. Okay, so you may be able to see my granite countertop right there below. That top gives off more radiation in one year as opposed to if I lived right next to a nuclear power plant. I know it's crazy. Now, there you have it. That's a little taste of, of some, some of the common misconceptions that The Simpsons pretty much got wrong about nuclear energy. Uh, those are the five facts. I could probably pull out a list of 1,000. There you have it. Hope you get a chance to check out the article below and until uh, next time, thanks.